Morning world, Zippy Trev here. So um, the mission for today is I need to repair my CB microphone. As, um, as you can see here, it's kinda not in the best shape. So uh, I was driving the other day and the red light saying transmit button kept coming on and I wiggled these wires around and around and around and finally sort of realized that um, there's obviously a problem there. So when I pulled it apart, uh, there was definitely a problem there. So I've got my soldering iron heating up over there. But the first thing I have to do is every one of these plugs is numbered. So what I need to write down is what number wire goes to what plug. And also uh, this black wire is broken off, but there's also a second black wire. So I believe that black wire goes to there, but there's two black wires. So what I'll end up having to do is I'll have to slice down, get this broken one, pull it away, keep it separate and make sure all these other three go on the plugs that are designed to go on. So firstly, we have a yellow wire. Uh, torch might help me because my eyes aren't the best. Right, yellow wire is up. Yellow wire is number two. So I'm going to ride that two. Yellow. And we want the red wire. And the red wire is plug hole number three. We have attaching black wire. there plug number one plug number one is a black Ouch. and the only one missing is the old other black wire which is plug number four radio so before I do anything I'm just going to trim this a fair way back. So I've only got a crappy old 40 channel CB in the car. But it does a job and when you hit it on scan, it, um, it does work quite well. And it's really just basically just talking to the trucks as I'm travelling down the highway. I'll tell you right now, the lighting in this shed is less than appropriate. I have to go and set up a light stand. Oh. Either this blade is crap, or I'm just not going deep enough. Alright. Let's get this off. Without damaging any of the wires. There we go. Wow, that one's, um, that's weird. twist all this and this this black wire here well not that one they must have just put a bit of heat shrink on it there because actually that'll be easy to identify um, That must be, there's no wires coming it, so that must be the outer wire of the cable. It's the only thing I can come up with. I could get this severely wrong right now. Um, attach black. All right, so all right. So the first thing to do is tell them dogs to shut up. Get down. Right. 
So I'm going to take them all off at the one level. Nope. Let's just trim them all off. Nope. Let's just trim them all off, all at the, all nice and even. There we go. Now, the soldering iron should be nice and hot. We'll see by. Uh, let's see if we can undo this one. Pins are very loose, there we go, got rid of that. Okay, that's nice and hot. Now I've got to strip these wires and tin the ends of them. So that one's already, the red's already good to go. I have a very, I have a good quality wire strippers here, but I don't know if they can strip wires. I do have a very good uh, set of wire strippers here, but I don't know if they can strip wires that thin. A bit more, yep. Okay, let's... So let's just strip each of these wires. We don't need a lot of... And we've got our make sure I'm going the right way here. Alright, this is a very slow process. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna go tinning the wires. Just one at a time. I'm gonna have a go at tinning them with some solder, not solder. It is solder. Alright, let's see if I can get these tinned. I do, so this is a bit of light flux. I don't know this, how important this, this part of it is, but there's how I'll do it. Now I've got a couple of different solders, and one of my, some of my solders aren't as good as others, so. Let's try and heat that wire up. Uh, come on, what's going on here? Solder. Oh, there we are. There's one done. One done. A little bit of fray. Not the best soldering in the world, but it'll work, hopefully. Try this other solder, I think it's a little bit better. Some have flux in them, some don't. Come on, take this out of it, there we go. See, that one is not taking. That solder is not taking to that wire at all. I'll try this one, see if it's better. There we go. 
little bit better. There we go, that's much better. Too much on there, but that one's done. Yeah, so I've got two lots of solder and one lot of solder is not as good as the other. Get off this. There we go. Right, that's our wires tinned. Next stage is we're going to solder the plug. And because my eyes are rather crappy, I'm going to. So, yellow wire is plug number two, which is that one there. down the bottom that's just my shed door now this comes with well do you have oh yes so this has got a black sheath that goes over everything so I um, don't think I should have to um I don't think I should have to put any more uh Heat shrink over it. So, double checking again. Make sure I got it on the right plug. Yellow is number two. Yellow is number two. I'm saying that twice. Yellow is number two. That's three times. That is that one there. So, I'll hold that on there. Getting a soaring iron. Doing this actually back to the front. Get this nice and warm, get a bit of heat into it. That is not working. Number two plug. Solder nice and warm. Oop, there we go. Give that a couple of seconds to cool down. That is that one. Number three plug is red, which is Which is that plug there. And then get a come on. Jeez, almost. It's almost starting to look like a, that one a bit too long. Right. That's our red one. Nice and secure. Attached black is plug number one. Which 
with that one. And our earth one will be that one there. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. The light in here is terrible for looking at this, but anyway. We won't complain. Rio, yeah, so. into position. It's done. No, that is not done, it just come off. Get on there, you son of a bitch. No sheeting on this one, so it gets hot real quick. There we are. It was plug number one, wasn't it? Yep. So we have one more to go. On to the only pin that's left, which should be plug number four. The only one that's left to do. Okay, that's in little jaws properly. Pufta. And come off. Uh, is that the plug or? No, okay then. That's alright. Shoulder's good. Radio. that wait and cool for a few minutes um, and then I'm going to put its little heat shield over it that I've got here somewhere there it is Oop. so there's my little heat shield oh yeah so that should be done what I'm going to do now is uh, I am actually going to let this cool down for the next five or ten minutes while I go and find my marker pen for a start And, and yes, I'm just going to let that cool right down so I feel solid. I'm going to put my little heat shrink over it. And then I probably should have put some heat shrink over it beforehand, but I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to lightly wrap it in tape and then I've just got all this to get back onto it. So anyway, Worlds, hopefully that is the microphone fixed. I won't know until I actually get it in the car. So Okay, well, so I'm pretty sure that's fixed, but I'm going to let it sit for a while, go and do a couple more things, and I'm going to come back and just put it all together. I have the outer shroud here and some little screws I need to put in there, and hopefully, when I plug it back into the CB, it's going to work. So, rightio, we'll catch you when I'm on final assembly. Okay, we're back, Worlds. Um, and let's, uh, let's just put the final bit together, and hopefully it's all going to work. So... First thing we're going to do, get our little heat shroud over all this, or our little rubber protector. That goes on like that. I am going to put some uh, electrical tape around that. Just to give it a little bit of extra strength. 
I have to admit the electrical tape I'm using is not the greatest electrical tape in the world. So hopefully this will work. Just to give the wires a little bit extra strength so they don't pull off the back of the plug, hopefully. Yes, I know this is a very crappy wiring job. Sorry, taping job. I hope all my wires are still connected in there. Oh, that looks absolutely disgusting, but anyway. So let's hope all our wires are in there, are still all nicely connected. Um, then this goes up into, take that down. That should slide into there, but there we go. That slides into there. Okay, so I've got a small screwdriver here, and I'm going to work out why that screw isn't going in properly. Because it's not going where it should. So why is that? Okay, hold up. Not quite in there enough. That should be lined up. Hopefully. There we go. It's amazing what a difference things make when you line them up properly. Now we've just got this one to go on top. And make sure I get it the right way around if there, if there is a right way. Pretty much the same both sides. Small screws. One more screw on this side. starting that car up again while well, we've had no more burnouts but they do oh, shit I just stabbed myself but no more burnouts but they do read that bloody engine occasionally <coughs> what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to wrap some little bit more tape around there just for a little bit extra security I said my taping job is quite a hack and hopefully I haven't pulled off any of the wires off the fitting inside the plug. Look, that'll do. Look, it's ugly as, but now we're going to see if it actually works. As I said earlier, it is an older set, so I'm just going to. Where's my mic? All right, let's plug it in. So what was happening was, I'll do this in a sec. So what was happening, there's a red light down there on the transmit light or the busy light, and that just kept coming on. And as I wiggled this around, I could see it more. So, All right, let's get a squelch up. Go to another channel, because sometimes that channel gets um, very noisy. Sorry about that. Set the squelch. Hit scan. So channel 6 is a channel locally that um, I pick up, that, that's a long way away, but I pick them up. So let's go to 40. And I'm going to pull out, let's push the button and see if we get a red light. Yes, we do. We're transmitting. 
Uh, could anyone give me a radio check, please? Come back. Uh, copy for a radio check. Well, you can make it a minus turn off perfectly. Ah, uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Anytime, mate. Rightio, well, it's microphone's now fixed. I'll have to keep an eye on that, because where it sits here in the cradle, and when I'm driving, it does rock around a bit, so there's every chance that may come loose again. Let's hit the scan. Yes, Channel 6 is busy, as always, when I'm here. We won't worry about that. We'll just flick up to 40 on our local 40, which is our truck channel. So all good. So I put a call out asking for someone who wants to sell me a second-hand microphone, and someone said, just pull it to bits and get a soldering iron and fix it. And then when I looked a little bit closer, it wasn't that hard to fix it in a day. So anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed this vid, maybe got something out of it. It's not that hard to do a little repair job on these CBs. So as always, stay safe, keep your knees in debris, and I'll catch you later. Bye.